I'm going to show you how I turn this video from this to this. Only using your mobile phone and the CapCut app. Let's go. So the first thing to do is to download the CapCut app. That is if you don't have one. You can download this easily on the Apple App Store or on the Google Play Store. Once that is done, you click on the CapCut app and then you tap on New Project. You select the background that you want to use as the background for your video and click on Add. Because we'll be using this video for YouTube, we'll go to the aspect ratio and select 16 by 9, which is for the YouTube size. And then click on the background and then go to transform and select crop and 16 by 9 as well. And adjust it so that we get a place we want to use for the background. Hit the check mark when you are done with your editing. Scale the adjusted background so that it fits to the aspect ratio selected. Extend the background so that it fits to the duration of your video. Once that is done, we will now come to the effects and then select video effect and then blur our background a bit. So you wait at its loads and then you type in blur. You now scroll down or scroll up till you find a blur and then adjust it to your preference. I think this is fine. You now extend the effect so it fills out the duration for your video. Once everything is done, you now go to the overlay panel and then click on add overlay and then look for the video you will be adding. So you click on the video and click add. And you now maximize the video so it fits to the screen and you scroll through till everything is fine. For the purpose of this video, I will be trimming out so that this video becomes shorter. So trim. Once again, for the sake of these tutorials, I will be muting the sound of this original video. Now here is where the magic happens. We will now click on the video and look for remove BG and go to auto removal and then you wait for it to remove. This might take some time depending on your network connection. So you just be patient as it removes the background. Anyways, if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel so that this content reaches out to more people. And then, if you have any content in mind that you want me to film, kindly comment that in the comment section so I do that for you. Because I want this video to be short enough, I'll be skipping the part where it's loading. And then you now go back and then you now go and select stabilize to stabilize your video okay so you go to this you look for the stabilize there it is and tap on it and then you click on recommend it you go to okay and then that one also take time to load as well depending on your network connection and you still not subscribe <clears throat> kindly hit the subscribe button please because my subject was positioned at the one side of the video i would like to bring it back to the center and then scale it up a bit so that it fits perfectly into the background we've created We we'll now like to blend the subject and the background seamlessly. So we'll go to filters and then this part will depend on you. Okay. But my um, recommendations will be the clear two and the enhance. Okay. Those ones are perfect for talking head videos like this, but then they all depend on your preference. So you can try them out. And the one that's you to your video, you just stick with it because my network is bad. The filters are not really showing. Okay. But then let's give it some time. Okay, there they are. So I'll go through the filters and then look for the one that fits my video. So after selecting the one that fits your video, all you're left with is just to adjust the intensity of that filter you've selected. Okay, so that is the clear tool, my favorite. I select it and then I bring up the intensity to 100. And I think it's picking up the vibe as it has blended the subject and the background seamlessly. So I click on the check mark and then we are done. It's now time to export. Export button. You turn it up to 4K and then bring it out to low compression. And then you wait for it to export. 
Once this is done, your video is now ready to be posted on any social media platform. Now let's see the before and after.